Hi, I'm Philip Maxwell, and in this video we'll be discussing the third harmonic. The third harmonic happens when two planets are 120 degrees apart. It's called a trine because the angle is one-third of the circle approximately, and its symbol is a delta. It typically happens when these two planets are four signs away. Because of that, they'll be in the same element. It makes it really easy to see. As an example, look at diagram A. The moon in Leo is four signs away from the sun in Aries. It's easy to see because you can count out that four signs and they're in the same element. A metaphor I like to use to represent a trine is like going through a prism. Because a prism offers little resistance to the light. There's an ease. The light flows through and it represents the planets in harmony. This also represents then a talent. I also like the image of smooth sailing for the trine. You're sailing with the wind at your back. You don't feel any wind because you're moving with it. And you travel to your destination effortlessly. In my earlier astrology studies, I came to the conclusion that I think a great many students of astrology come to. And that's that the trine is an ideal, and you want the talent of being able to do things easily and effortlessly. I have since learned that there are no good or bad aspects, and that they can all have positive or negative manifestations. But it's easy to get an overly idealized view of the trine, so I want to mention a few downsides. Laziness. A person with an abundance of trines has a knack for finding the easy way to do most anything. But there's no motivation. They might get a simple job driving a bus, enjoy life from that vantage, and yet be capable of much more. Or they might find a way to get out of work entirely. They can be kind of careless. A train conductor may be a poor fit for someone with a very trying heavy influence. There's a lack of fear, and therefore they don't really know how to watch out for danger. So the train's barreling down the road, they're in the flow, they're taking things easy, and there is an obstacle ahead in the tracks. Because they're so in the flow, they might likely miss that obstacle. The train hits the obstacle and either A derails or, or worse. Trines don't even guarantee fulfillment. A woman I went through astrology classes with had a trine dominant chart and she found success in the world very easily. She said that she could pick up and find a new career to fulfill and if she did that it would also continue to be easy. This was actually the problem. She wanted more challenge in her life, but she couldn't take a direction in life that would give her that. So ironically, you need that stimulation from challenge, whether it be effort or some internal friction within yourself, to keep life interesting. Because through overcoming obstacles, there is fulfillment in that. So it's great that the trine provide such stability. Just remember, you need more than stability in your life to have an interesting life. That finishes it up for the third harmonic. Stay tuned for my next video on struggle and the fourth harmonic. If you like this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more content. And remember the notification bell so you can be alerted when new stuff hits. If you have any questions or comments, I'm more than happy to hear from you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.